TIFU by realizing how much debt I'm in. TLDR. I checked my credit score a couple of days ago and I haven't been able to sleep since. Now, it's not as bad as you may think. At all, with the holiday season coming, I applied for some payment plans and got rejected. Which made me realize, I need to pay my cards off. I'm $4,000 in debt. My job pays well but not well enough. My parents have abandoned me because they don't approve of my partner so they're zero help. As many of us in the USA, I wasn't taught about credit and how it works so once I got approved I just started spending. Without thinking and didn't realize how high the APR is. So no matter how much money I'm pouring into paying them off, they somehow are still 100% used. If anyone has any advice, please let me know. I've applied for personal loans and they're of no help either. I'm struggling. I'm depressed. I don't have an appetite. I hate America. You can't do anything here with bad credit. Let alone get your own place. I told my partner I don't want anything big for Christmas because I know I cannot afford to pay it. Back with a big gift for them as well. Not even including my daughter. I guess this is just a rant to let it all out. Edit. Thank you to everyone for the advice. It is extremely appreciated. For the ones who are saying $4,000 is nothing. Go ahead and cash app me the money you pull out of your asshole heart. First off, take a deep breath. $4,000 is a manageable level of debt. Contact your bank and ask them if you can set up an unsecured line of credit to pay off your credit. Cards. The interest will be much less than your credit cards, which are usually around 1,922%. Then, use that line of credit to pay off your CC debt. Not for Christmas. Not for anything else. Your kid won't even know that they got a less expensive present for Christmas. And your partner should understand that your long-term financial health is more important. I've been in your situation but with a much higher debt. I'd start by figuring out exactly what you bring in and exactly what you pay out. From there look at every credit card you have and do one of two methods. Take the largest APR and dump every bit you can into that card. Pay the minimum payments on anything else. Once that card is paid move on to the next. This is called the snowball method and does wonders for your mental state. Because you get a definite boost as you see cards paid off. And increases your credit score providing access to better credit cards in the future. The other option is the exact same method part starting with the smallest debt you have. That way you can pay it off more quickly and then put that portion to another debt. It'll take time and dedication but if you can stick it out you can climb out of the debt hole. $4,000? Shit, I wish I was only $4,000 in debt. The number one thing you can do to help your situation is by getting a debt consolidation loan. The interest on CCs are designed to keep you in debt. So getting a loan with a lower interest rate will do you wonders. As others have said, use this line of credit only for paying off your CC. Do not close your credit card accounts after you're done paying them off. Your credit score will benefit from having unused credit available. I have about $50,000 worth of unused credit across three cards. And lastly, immediately stop all spending with your CCs. If you pay off $100 but then buy something for $20. You're not helping yourself you can also try to get another CC with no interest for X months. And do a transfer. We were about 30k in debt to credit cards. The biggest one medical in the same boat, keeping them paid but never really paying them down. We looked into debt consolidation companies. I can't remember which one we used. My wife set it up. Went from paying thousands every month and getting nowhere to having a bill under 1k a month with a 3-year payoff plan. We paid it off a little early by overpaying. We were already paying way less than we were. 
and have no credit card debt. I thought it was a scam. And I'm sure some of them are. But this worked for us. Just thought I'd share. In case someone needed it. $4,000 debt is not bad at all. As far as screw-ups go. At least what you did was legal. Learn to live within your means and get along well with the people you work with. Train up for a job that pays well that matches your personality. Don't spend money you don't have. I try to do the 751,510 rule. Spend 75% of my income. Invest 15% and save 10% to my savings up to 6 months of wage. So the first advice is you say you don't want anything big. You are right by saying this but you should say you don't want anything. You cannot buy anyone else gifts. You need to stop eating out and buying anything other than basic food. 4000 is not hard to pay off if you buckle down but you need to realize that coffee in the morning. Or whatever else you do is done until your debt is paid. I declared bankruptcy once. When I went into court I had about 30,000 in total debt. In court the judge reads out how much debt everyone has. Out loud. I don't know if it's like this in every state. Anyway I was feeling a little regretful when I found out I had rookie numbers. The vast majority of people had debts in the hundreds of thousands. $4,000 is a rounding error for most people. Don't stress about it. Work hard until you can pay off 4000 in two paychecks. It will happen faster than you realize. Note. If I would have known how bad declaring bankruptcy would be I might not have done it and just tried. To work it off or at least I could have rung up another 200 k and gambled on some risky stocks. Before declaring bankruptcy. 30 k is not worth it. 4 k ain't bad at all dude you'll recover. The issue is not so much THST you're not taught but that you didn't go to your research before doing something. A lot of people blame not being taught and I can understand that to a point but a lot this generation lacks common self-dependence. I was not taught about credit and how to build it up but you know what I did. Looked up some vids and websites. This generation has so much info in their hands literally. Additionally a lot of this generation live outside their means. Cut down on spending and eating out for a year. It will suck but could fix that huge debt. Most people seem to live $200,400 out of their means per month. Right now if you're paying the bare minimum which is most likely just the interest you need to up. Your payments. Don't blame America. Take responsibility and grow. Hey buddy. I'm sorry to hear about all the stress this debt is giving you. Well. What's done is done. You can't change your past actions. But you can work towards a better. A happier future. It's okay you know. We all make dumb choices. And we can always get better. I would highly recommend putting up a post on our personal finance the people over there can help you. Figure out a way to pay off this loan based on your current expenses and income. Not only that, there is some seriously good advice on not only getting rid of current debt, but also understanding why you got over here in the first place. And making sure that you don't fall into the debt trap again. I hope you're able to figure things out. Cheers smiley face. There has been lots of good advice here already. So I just say this. Make a budget and stick to it. 1. Figure out what are the essential things you have to pay for. Rent. Water. Electricity. Food. These come first before anything else. 2. Figure out what are the luxury things you enjoy. But do not need to stay alive. Tobacco. Snacks. Cosmetic. Alcohol. These you need to cut out for now. It sucks but you can do it. 3. Figure out what parts of your essentials you could downgrade. Buy the cheapest. Off-brand milk. Or better still. Make yourself. Bake your own bread etc. Much cheaper. Or growing your own garlic. 
Literally just put a clove of garlic into some soil and give it water every day. Also, any free services like printing documents at the library etc? Use them. 4. Any way to make extra income? It doesn't have to be much. Just selling your old clothes online or setting up a Fiverr page. Anyway good luck. You got this. R. Personal Finance My job pays well, $4,000 should not be a big deal then. $4,000 in debt is rookie numbers in the US. You gotta pump those up. Get some unforeseen medical debt. Buy a car, house. Have a kid. Have a car or major appliance break. Okay, are you just paying the minimum? The only way out is discipline. Cut all unnecessary spending and reduce budget on necessary spending as much as possible. Dave Ramsey talks about a eating beans and rice approach. A little short-lived discomfort for the lifelong relief of having no debt. It works if you work it. It's good you hate being in debt. But to be brutal, there's a reason why having a bad credit score limits your opportunities. Would you want to loan money to someone that struggles to pay their debts? Chuckles in college degree. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.